Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my uh, study practices lesson. I study and I also put them on YouTube. So you can find where you can study as well and how I do it. And I'm quite new, so I might go slowly, try to understand uh, all the steps. So bear with me. Uh, let's start. I'm on uh, Avis Educate uh, Instructor. And I will do the first lab. It's Amazon Simple Storage Service. Lab overview. Um, so we will create uh, Amazon S3 bucket, I think. Okay, create a bucket Amazon S3. Add an object to a bucket. Manage access permissions on an object. Uh, and the bucket, create a bucket policy, use bucket um, versioning. It should take around 60 minutes and uh, the session will be valid for four hours. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to start the lab it's here and then panel opens and display the lab status. If you need more time to complete the lab, to Choose the start lab button again. Restart the timer for the environment. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, and I hope I won't get get interrupted if my kids uh, kids interrupt me. So I should be okay for one hour. Uh, wait until you see message lab status ready. Let's start. Choosing X. Start. At the top of these instructions, and uh, choose AVS. <coughs> okay, this is, I think, a little bit big for me, but let me see if I can close it. Uh, okay, I guess it's better now, smaller. Uh, lab status is ready. Okay, and then start. AVS, choose open service. Okay, I have this console now. I usually like to take this one out in two uh, screens. It's easy for me. Uh, just gives a tip. Um, task one, creating a bucket. You are new to Amazon S3 and want to test the features and security of Amazon S3 as you configure the environment to hold the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud uh, report data. You know that every object in Amazon S3 is stored in a bucket, so creating a new bucket to hold the reports is the first thing on your task list. In this task, you create a bucket to hold your Amazon uh, EC2 report data and then examine the different bucket configuration options. At the upper left uh, services, I think I'm a little familiar with this from here, maybe, or just type here. Easier for me. Choose create a bucket. Okay, bucket name must be uh, V, we'll select, I think. Only lower case numbers of uh, items bucket name must be globally unique across all Amazon. Okay, is it only me uh, selecting refer to? You cannot change the bucket name after creating a bucket as you enter educate bucket. Let's say educate. <coughs> uh, refer to Amazon S3 bucket naming rules, additional resources. Okay. Mm, in the general configuration section, enter the following as bucket name. It, is it? Ah, okay. It gives me the. Okay. Sorry. Oops. Report bucket number, let's say one. Report bucket one. In the bucket name, replace number with a random number. Um, 
let's say three ones not complicated <laughs> leave region as default create and just create bucket okay i guess we have a bucket now that's easy um what do we choose uploading an object to the bucket now you have created a bucket for your report data you are ready to work with objects an object can be any kind of file text file photo video zip file and so on when you add your object to s3 you have the option to include metadata data with the object and set permissions to control access to object in in this task you set uploading objects to your uh, report bucket you have a screen capture of a daily report and want to upload the image to s3 bucket right click on the following link shall we then download this um choose save link as okay sorry save i'm going to just save it okay and find the select the bucket name we will find uh, leave region default and then create a bucket okay server side okay this was just story I can take this one out already exist <coughs> one two three four five six no <laughs> that report back s3 a3 a3 how many trees are there okay Main must not contain uppercase. Okay. Report buckets three three three. Okay, so upload an object to a bucket. I I downloaded this one and create a bucket. Oh, sorry right click on the following okay add files choose add files um s3 management console Support bucket after selecting this, I guess. Is this where we upload? Choose upload, add files, and this is the report I just downloaded. Okay, um, okay, just upload. Not loading. Okay. Succeeded status. Um, okay. Making test three, making an object public. Security is a priority S3. Before you configure your EC2 instance to connect to the report bucket, you want to test the bucket and object setting. <laughs> For security, in this task, you configure permissions on your bucket and your object to test accessibility. First, you attempt to access the object to confirm that it is private by default. In the report bucket overview page on the objects tab, locate new report PNG object. PNG, okay. Choose new report file name. Overview um, PNG overview page opens the navigation. Here's the overview page. 
Okay. Uh, locate and copy object to relay. Object URL. Copy object to URL. Uh, open a new browser. Um, access the night. I just show sorry here. Now that you can confirm, confirm that the file secured of object is to use private, you test how to make the object publicly accessible. Keep the browser with a access the night error open and return to web console S3 management console object. <coughs> Go back, is it on the bucket? S3, object overview, object buckets, objects, object view, objects, must be this one. Uh, in the upper right, choose object actions. Here. Um, okay. Drop down menu, you will notice that may public via ACL. Here. Um, share with us. Um, maybe it's not here. Let's try here. No. Um, okay, I need to be inside objects now. Make public. This is not working. It's grayed out. Okay. In the upper left of the top, on uh, left of the page, choose the report bucket name. Report bucket name in the navigation to get go back to the main bucket overview page. Choose permissions. Okay. Need to go to the permissions here on the bucket. We need to allow use ACL first under object ownership. Choose edit. Uh, ownership, object ownership. Okay. AC, okay, enabled. Like most ACL will start, let me see. Okay, save changes. Under block public access, save changes. Under block public bucket. Mm, block public access bucket settings. Uh, clear the checkbox. Clear the checkbox. Look. Okay, let's clear that. Um, some objects may become public. Okay, so we opened ACL and then gave public permission. Block all public access. We don't block any public access. Um. Okay. Choose object stop. Again. Object. Go to object. I guess. Objects, new report. Okay. Now make public using ACL. Sa uh, is it Sajem? Is it make public? Some public radius access enabled and not blocked by public access. You can access this objects made public. 
green banner. Okay. Uh, and I won't close the return new report new object. Okay. Now shall we go with it? Let me see. Return the browser that displayed access denied. Is it was it this one? Sorry, maybe it's not this one. Okay, this one. Now I can access the object. Uh, now the playbook will be called this public access will close the new tab browser which displays you in your new report and return to tap the AC2 management. Mm. In this example, you granted red access to just one specific object. If you would like to grant access to the entire bucket, you need to use the bucket policy, which this lab covers later in the next task. You work you work with your EC2 instance to confirm connectivity to EC2 to the S3 bucket. Testing connectivity from EC2 instance. That's the <laughs> next next task. In the next, next, uh, okay, close this one. Go back to S3. On the services, choose EC2. Um, testing connectivity from EC2 instance. On the services menu, choose EC2, dashboard resources, choose instances running instances running here um, select the bastion of bastionos and choose connect mm, here in the connect to instance window select the session manager tab for the connection method um select the instance in the sorry um select the instance under resources section there is resources um, I just need to go and connect here okay connect the instance I'll choose connect connect instance session manager select session manager okay um you can connect to the bus node instance without the need for specific ports to be open on a fiber or amazon virtual uh private cloud security will refer to avs systems manager session manager in the additional resources section at the end of this lab for more information choose connect in a new browser tab or window option with an opens with a connection to the bus most instance you are now connected to this to instance that holds the report and application because session manager uses HTTPS port 443. It does not require you to open SSH port 22 to the outside world. You are satisfied with this security feature. Now you want to see how EC2 interacts with your S3 bucket. In the Boston host session, enter the following command to change to the home, di home directory uh, SD. SD, I guess, was SD going to seven game. Um, user. Didn't go there. Let's see. Mm. Mm. 
Okay. Output should be okay. So I guess it worked. You are now in now in the SSM user home directory where you will run your commands in the lab. Enter the following command to list all your S3 buckets. ABS, ABS, S3 list. Really counts. <clears throat> okay, the output shows similar to following. You see the report that you created and lab auto generated buckets. Now, during the creation of the lab environment, both an instance profile which defines who are for uh, you are for authentication and the role which defines that what you can do after the authenticate. Um, have been automatically added for its EC2 instance, allow EC2 instance to. In the following command, change number at the end of the report bucket name and name the bucket you created. Enter the adjusted command to list all the objects in your report bucket. Alias, uh, alias, S3. List. Uh, S3 report bucket S3 S3 3. The command looks uh, similar to following. That should look like following. Okay, we will go inside new report there is currently only one object in the bucket the object is called new report enter the following command st reports reports and the following list dolphins reports okay the output shows some files created in the reports directory to test the application <coughs> yes in the following command, change number at the end of the rep report bucket name to the name of the bucket you created. Enter the adjusted command. Alias S3. Report. Test. One. EXT. Report test one to XT. Um, S3 inside S3. Report bucket. Report bucket. S3 3 3. The command looks similar to this. Let's see now. Mm, no, it didn't work. I did something wrong, maybe. The output indicates an upload failed error. Hmm, okay, this is the one I got. This error occurs, be occurs because you have read only writes the buckets and do not have permission to perform put object action. Leave the one window open, go back to browser tab. Create a bucket policy to add the put object permission. Okay, creating a bucket policy now. Here. <coughs> A bucket policy set permissions associated with the S3 bucket. It's used to control access to entire bucket to a specific directories within a bucket. 
this policy generates would create a bucket policy to enable read and write access from the S3 instance to the bucket so that you are reporting application can successfully write on Amazon S3. Right click the following link simple text. To, um, sorry, in a, again, save sample text. Save. Um, and uh, management console tab, select name of your bucket and upload this one now. S3. Go to S3. Go to my bucket. This is my bucket, and I will upload another object now. Okay. Add files. Now upload. While this is uploading, object will use like locate copy object. Sample text. On the report. Uh, on the report bucket overview, choose the sample text file name. I'll close this one now. On the report bucket. Okay. Overview objects, overview section. Service objects, okay. Locate and copy object, okay. Let me just go here. Object area, area. access the night. Uh, you need to configure bucket policy to grant access to all, object, all objects, but bucket without having to specify permissions to each each object. So on the management console S3, um, services and select IAM. IAM is here, I think. Sorry. I am. Uh, choose roles. Go to roles. Search field enter. This is the role that these two instance uses to connect to AC3 S3. Summary section copy a role errand to next. Summary section zip here. It should look similar to this. Choose services S3 and return to S3 management console. Choose report bucket. And back here. Permissions, packet policy editor, packet policy access, permissions in the packet policy section. Okay. Click edit. Packet policy editor says you can create packet policies manually or can create them with the assistance if it is. Mm. <coughs> policy generator Amazon resource names uniquely identifiable 
Let's reserve a cost. Does not require region or account ID parameters IRN. So this section are left blank. However, the column separate section is still used, so it looks similar to refer to Amazon resource names and service documentation link to additional resource selection at the end of lab or more for more information. Below the policy examples, policy generator, policy generator, buttons find the bucket ARN, policy, and policy examples, policy generator, okay, this is the one, choose policy generator. <laughs> Select type of policy, uh, three bucket policy, select, select allow, principle, easy to, easy to, easy to grow, and that you copied, ah, oh. this is this one. Then there is service on the default setting as it is actions select get object get object get object and put object put object get action grants permission of the object to retrieve as retrieve for okay um use amazon amazon resource name enter enter where is it okay, generate policy even this generator JSON format, it looks like generate policy. Copy the policy that you created in the clipboard. Close the web browser. Okay. Um, close the web browser tab and turn to S3 Management Console tab, bucket policy. This is here. In the bucket policy, update the resource value replacing with the bucket and you said, okay, I am missing something. Close the web browser tab and return to S3 Management Console tab with the bucket policy editor. Natural Center. Okay, is it oh, here? Update the resource value replacing resource value. Resource value. Um, there is resource value. Resource 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 S3 Lab policy should be similar to following example. Uh, 
this. Yeah, maybe. Here, resource line, like a data and you saved earlier, followed by, I haven't saved it again. Mm, condition of the source, the source. Why is it um, not working? Those is it here maybe? No. Um, this three plus three. Uh, hope this works. Confirm that appears after the bucket name in the source line center shows. Okay. Choose save changes. Doesn't show any errors anymore. Ah, oh, that wasn't easy <laughs> for the first timer. Mm, okay. Return to the system manager window if. Your session has time timed out. Click on next system manager using the previous step in the enter the following commands with the file file it's here. We, we are under reports in the command below replace number okay just to just say a yes three list and S3 report and that's it. S333. Okay. Um, let's enter. Okay, now enter the following command. Again, now we are going to try and change AVS S3. LS S3 report that's three three three. Um sorry, sorry I missed this one part. Uh we are going to change the name so after S3 C C report S1 Exe file three bucket three three three. Uh, let me see, should be okay. Um, upload. In the command below, replace number with the number you use. Um, let's list now. S3. LS. S3. Um, report. Bucket. S333. 
Reported. Report. We have successful, successfully uploaded put object a file from the EC2 instance to your S3 bucket. In the comment below, replace number with the number used to create your bucket. Enter your adjust, adjusted command to retrieve get object a file from Amazon S3 and uh, to the EC2 instance. Okay, can't see anymore. Let's make it a little smaller. Where's my window now? Why can't I make it smaller? Maybe it's history. It's three. Three, four, five. I hope I'm writing it correct. Three, three, three. I'm not sure if I'm writing it all really. Okay, needed to take this part here. Maybe yes, this way. S3. My bucket report bucket 333. Sample. Sample. File. File. Which one is it? This one. Sample file txt. Uh, sample file txt. Again. Sample file txt. Sample file txt. What this one is good for? Uh, Enter following command to see files now in the report directory. Okay, I got <laughs> interrupted again with my little one. Um, next one. Where was I? I didn't enter this one. Should I just click enter? Why is it not working? Nothing. What is happening now? I think I'm going to terminate this one because it's not working. It got stuck. I will reopen again. Okay, apparently my session expired. I don't know how this happened. Um, I didn't spend that much time. Um, it was about to finish, uh, but I lost connection. Now, there was a couple of things to complete. Let me see if there's another task. Um, there were a couple of things to do on um, there will be oxygen <laughs> denied <laughs> and then I need to go back refresh lead up on simple rules displayed return to his next task okay then the last task was exploring versioning uh, versioning is a, is a means of keeping multiple variants of an object uh, in the same bucket. You can use versioning to preserve, retrieve, and restore every version of, of every object stored in your S3 bucket. With versioning, you can easily recover from both 
unintended user actions and <coughs> applications fa failures. For auditing and compliance reasons, you need to enable versioning on your report bucket. Versioning should protect the reports in the report bucket against accidental, accidental deletion. You are curious to see if this works as advertised in this test. You, are enable, you enable versioning to test the feature by uploading a modified version of the sample text txt file from the previous test. Okay. That was the last task I needed to do, I think, but I'm going to go to the next one from here. Uh, I'm sorry that I missed all of them. At the top of these instructions to submit, I Choose and laptop of the page and then select yes, confirm you want it to lock. Hmm. Okay, maybe I will come back and do that again. Then I can share with you guys as well. But if in case I haven't done that second time, I'm going to share this video with you anyway. I will see you in my next one. Bye.